Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk about three bad arguments or myths that exist around the gold versus Bitcoin debate. I'm going to go through the three arguments that I find to be the most popular ones and why I think they are wrong or misunderstood. Because it's a fact that many people argue that Bitcoin is the new digital gold and that we should abandon old gold, real gold, for this new digital gold. And it's probably not a surprise, since this is the crypto channel, that I like Bitcoin. I own Bitcoin, I like Bitcoin, I talk about Bitcoin every single day. Now, it's also a fact that I like gold. I also own gold. And I appreciate both of these assets. I like them and I think they are a great fit for many portfolios. With that being said, that doesn't mean that uh, they are that you have to choose one or the other. And that's what I want to talk about today because this really has turned out to be a debate between people that are all in Bitcoin or people that are all in gold. And today I want to nuance that debate a little bit and uh, take a look at some of the common arguments. And with that being said, we're gonna get straight into it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and get subscribed. All right, so gold versus BTC. I've chosen this color very carefully here. Um, I hope you can see it. So the first argument is the question of uh, underlying value. I, uh, I don't know how many times you've heard debates you know, about talking about the underlying value of gold versus Bitcoin, that gold has an underlying value and that Bitcoin doesn't. And I simply think that this is an argument that is usually uh, based on, on wrong premises. I mean, I think that gold has a lot more use cases than Bitcoin. You can have it in jewelry, you can have it in your teeth, you can have it in electronics, you can have it in a bunch of stuff. Uh, and uh, the question is, does the value of gold come from the fact that you have it in teeth or that you can have it in electronics? Uh, I happen to believe not. Uh, I think that most of the value, what is gold is around, I think, 1300 uh, US dollar per, per ounce, that is very expensive per ounce. And is that because it's nice to have in your teeth? I don't think so. I think it's the fact that gold is so freaking valuable because you want to buy it from other people. And uh, that's the main argument against Bitcoin, really, that, oh, Bitcoin is only valuable because you can send it to a greater fool. You can sell it to a greater fool. It, it isn't used anywhere. Well, I would argue that the gold value of $1,300 per ounce is what it is because people are selling it to other people. They know that other people find it valuable. Not the fact that you can have it in your teeth. It's the fact that governments are buying tens of thousands of tons of gold to keep in their vaults. That's why people own gold, because they know it's a valuable asset in the long run. They know that people want gold in the future and they don't want it primarily in their teeth. They know that people want to stock up on gold and have it in their vaults because humans value gold. And in my opinion, it doesn't have to be more complicated than that. BTC has underlying value because people want an asset that is disconnected from a lot of the other assets in the world. It's just a fact that people want digital, a digital scarce resource that is decentralized. So people want to own that asset. People want to store it on their, in their vaults and then other people will buy it from them. Then the question is how long will Bitcoin be valuable? I don't know. We'll see, right? But that is a misconception that I find to be quite uh, quite uh, popular, you know, that, that people people think that gold has underlying value because it can be used in teeth. I don't think, I mean, obviously it's part of that value, but I don't think that is where the value comes from. The second argument is the fact that uh, Bitcoin is not really, is not limited supply. This is also an argument that I've heard many times. Bitcoin is not limited supply uh, because you can fork it. Your forks, you have uh, thousands of cryptos and obviously therefore Bitcoin is not limited supply because you could create a, an exact similar version of this cryptocurrency that has the same blockchain, that has the same properties that is as scarce as Bitcoin or even scarcer and it won't uh, really have the same value but we've seen Bitcoin Cash, we've seen other forks Bitcoin Gold, Bitcoin Unlimited, that just fork Bitcoin and therefore Bitcoin is not really limited supply because you can fork it how many times you want. And I think that this is also a bad argument because if you fork Bitcoin and actually separate 
from the actual chain if it actually makes a split from the chain you know if you have a fork that means that you've changed something that means that you've played around with the code it is not the same anymore i mean that is the definition of a fork right you change something in the protocol so that you diverge from the actual bitcoin main chain that is the point of a fork so obviously it is not the same just like other precious metals is not the same as gold it has some difference and it can be a difference in the actual you know in the actual code of the algorithm or it can be a difference in just the blocks either way uh, a fork is a fork because it is different from bitcoin if you are moving away from bitcoin then it obviously is not bitcoin anymore so that argument is sort of a foolish argument as well in my opinion sure you can fork things but obviously they will not be bitcoin they will not be the same so bitcoin is still limited supply um, bad argument in my opinion now the third argument is uh, bitcoin is a bad oops, payment method No one accepts Bitcoin. Oops. I hope you can read. No one accepts BTC for payment. And if they do, they only use BitPay, so they just swap it for US dollars. They don't really accept Bitcoin. They accept US dollars, so they have a service that exchanges it. Well, uh, I would first of all argue that uh, it will probably be as easy to find someone to, that accept my Bitcoin payment that accept my gold payments. Sure, you can have gold coins, but I can't go out on the street and purchase things with gold. I need to go to an actual gold trader in order to sell my gold and then go purchase stuff. It is not easy, at least here in Sweden where I live, to go and purchase something with gold. I can promise you that. Uh, and, and second of all, uh, Bitcoin may not even need to be a payment method. That is a certain you know, part of the Bitcoin community that believe in Bitcoin as a payment use case. I'm not necessarily one of them, but to argue that uh, Bitcoin it loses to gold in terms of it being a bad payment method well that's quite silly because gold is not a good payment method either unless you have it on a card if you, unless you have it in some sort of service where you can pay for it similar to BitPay it is a a, uh, a a good payment method so both of these are bad payment methods that's the funny thing they're good at holding value Bitcoin for past 10 years has been way better than gold in holding value has increased so much but the uh, the uh, the payment argument is quite bad one because both of these sucks for payment because they appreciate you want to keep them in your closet you want to have them by yourself you don't want to give them to other people you want to use cash for that you want to use fiat for that all right so in the end gold versus bitcoin in my opinion no one wins both of these are awesome assets gold has been around for uh, i don't know how many thousands of years uh, people have been wanting gold for all of human history and Bitcoin is a new awesome exciting asset that you can have in your portfolio as well that spices things up but uh, gold is definitely a safer asset than Bitcoin has been around forever so I would say that you should have both of these assets and the debate gold versus Bitcoin is a silly debate to have it's not a uh, a competition of who should you which one should you own both of these are awesome, but completely separate assets that we all should have in our portfolio, if you ask me. With that being said, I want to hear what you think, obviously. I want to hear from you in the comments. What do you think about this debate? What do you think about my arguments? Uh, what do you personally think about gold, about Bitcoin? Do they compete with each other, or should people just own both of these assets, just like you should own Bitcoin, you should own stocks, uh, or whatever asset it might be? They complement each other, in my opinion. Do you agree? let me know in the comment section and once again if you enjoyed this video hit the like button if you didn't hit the dislike button but either way get subscribed to the channel hit the bell button smash that subscribe button i really appreciate every single one of you that are subscribed that is subscribed uh, with that being said thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching